Hey everybody, welcome back to another walkthrough down here. My name is Corey McCullough at Hilltop RV, as you can hear, right on US 41. Today I'm going to show you the Flagstaff E-Pro 17PR. It's going to be a little different unit. It's going to be all fiberglass on the outside. You're going to have the jacket bike rack on the front, which comes standard with every E-Pro. You're going to have the upgraded step above, two-step, all aluminum. No rusting, it's going to make it short, sweet, and easy to camp. Get up, load, and go. A couple key things I want to point out on the outside is you still are going to have a power awning on such a small unit. Not only that, with every Flagstaff comes with a grill mounting bracket on the outside. It goes right to an LP quick connect, so instead of pulling and goofing around with those little tanks, you're going to be able to pull from your tanks in the front. It's going to save you the longevity of the LP in your system, and it's also going to save you from going back and forth to the store every time you want to cook a hamburger. Well, this is going to come with a grill that actually mounts directly on this bracket system and a table to put burgers, drinks, anything you want on it. All right, guys, I didn't mention the jacket. Bike rack system that's going to hold two bikes in the front. A lot of people say, why would they put it in the front? What this is going to do is it's going to give you the capability in the back to put a storage rack on the back or also if you want to hang a spare tire in the back. This is going to give you more storage room if you do, like a lot of people do, bring bikes on the road. Another thing I want to tell you about these E-Pros is what they just started doing this year is instead of a typical 12 volt, what they did do is they put two 6 volt batteries on here. What that's going to do is if you're boondocking out in the woods, it's going to save the longevity of your batteries. It's going to let you go outside and cap a lot longer on just the two standard batteries wired in a series circuit. So what I am going to do is, as you can tell, you're going to have an actual cap on the front of this. It's not going to be molded. It's not going to be anything chintzy. You're actually going to have a fiberglass cap on the front of the 17-foot unit. If you guys want to follow me around, I'll show you the back of this, then we'll head on inside. What I'm going to show you now, guys, is what's so unique about this particular trailer. It's got a regular camper in the front and a single hybrid in the back. What this is going to be, I know when I grew up, I was in pop-ups all the time. I might have fallen out a couple times. If you look closely, this is actually welded directly to the frame on the outside of this. This material right here is going to be powder coated. coated. Excuse me, I'm chewing on my tongue. It's going to be powder coated, which is going to make it mold and mildew resistant. UV protected so it's not going to fade, chip, and fall apart because let's be honest, no one wants to sleep in something that's falling apart. Another positive about this camper is this is going to be the second bed in this. It's going to have a Murphy bed in the front. So you're going down the road, it's just you. You can keep this popped up and flush to the back of this camper and it's not going to remove any room whatsoever. You want it down, you have a person over, you have your child over with a friend, pop this down and you gain an extra bed. This unit's going to come prepped for a backup camera. It's going to have a hot and cold water outdoor shower. And it's going to be short, sweet, and easy to camp. I keep saying short and sweet, but the good thing about this 17-foot trailer being so small is it gives you the room of an extra bedroom without having to utilize your space. You're going to get a smaller camper with more sleeping. Let's go ahead in the inside and let's show you. Murphy beds. Those are pretty neat. This camper is going to have, like I said on the outside, a Murphy bed in the front of this. What I tell everybody is if you have company over, what this is going to do is it's going to give you the room to entertain. You want to sit down here and it's rainy, you don't want people trampling all over your bed or quite quite frankly seeing you still sleep with a stuffed animal. Pop your bed up. It's gone and out of the way. You can entertain right here. Not only that, but there is not a dinette in this. What this does come with, it comes with a fold up table located to my right here. You want to have a short sweet meal. You can cook on the two burner stove in the front, or this does come with a microwave and a nice size fridge. Set up the table, eat your meal, finish up, you wanna to go to bed right after, pop this down. I'm gonna show you a quick little demo on how easy this Murphy bed is to set up, and you're gonna be surprised on how big it is. So all you do for this is gonna be a little pull tab down here. Hit the pull tab to hit that jackknife table, or that jackknife couch down. Not only that, you don't wanna pull that down, you can also sleep on this. This is going to have two tabs up here. You twist and pull to let both of those loose. Then your bed's going to be open. This is going to be, as you can already tell, it's starting to turn into a bed. You're going to pull this down nice and easy, nice and light, so it makes a stand for the bed legs. And just like that, you have a bed that's unmade.
now it's made. And as you can tell, this is a full size, I should say, a trailer queen. Not a lot of people think that there's gonna be enough room, but again, I mentioned this in all my videos, I'm 6'1 and my feet still are not off the bed. It's comfy. Again, comes with the two pillows. It comes with the custom bedspread directly from Flagstaff. Like I said, I am 6'1", I still have enough room so that my legs do not fall off the end of the bed. What I'm gonna show you now is I'm gonna show you the rest of the camper from the kitchen area all the way back to your second bedroom. And we're in the kitchen. Correction, I said two burner stove. This has a three burner stove in it. So you're gonna notice right away, it's typical coming with a lot of these, you got the bacon backsplash stopper. Or anything you cook, I'm just a fan of bacon. So you're gonna have the stopper in the back here, if you are cooking anything, it's gonna save grease from splashing all over your countertops. You're gonna have a small and cute little sink along with a microwave located right down here. What you are gonna notice, which is a positive about this, there's gonna be storage everywhere on the inside of this camper. Even below the microwave, you're going to have a little pop-out false drawer for storage. You gotta go ahead and follow me over here. I'll show you real quick this gas and electric fridge. For a 17-foot trailer, this thing is huge. Like I was saying, this freezer tray, for being such a small refrigerator, gives you the opportunity to put in some frozen goods to keep for a long time. You're gonna have a small little vegetable tray down here which is taped in right here which comes from the factory along with beverage and condiment drawers. You can put beverage and condiments in or whatever you like. I'm, uh, I'm not your boss. Another good thing is it's a pantry. It's a pantry in a 17 foot trailer. Not only that, it's a deep pantry. Where's my arm? In the pantry. Why? Because it's deep. So if you want to look down here, this will give you a full shot of what this trailer actually looks like. Bathroom's located to my left, which we are going to show you in a second. And then you do have your second bedroom here. One positive, not a lot of people know about these. If you pull this out, you know what this is? It's a mattress heater. It gets cold, and you're back there. Plug it in. You got five, yeah, that's five. Five different modes to keep you hot or comfortable during the night. Another added thing that Flagstaff ePros have in them. Let's go ahead and show you the back. Sitting on the toilet. Oh, hey! Welcome to the bathroom. Positives on this bathroom. You gotta have a little baby tub. You got little grandchildren, you got little children, you got dogs that like to be pampered. Stick them in the bath, wash them, get them dry. You're gonna have the traditional medicine cabinet which comes on everything. Another positive, you're gonna have a power vent in here. Four speeds, you know what those four speeds are for? The severity of what's gonna happen in here. You decide, not me. I'm not your boss. You got plenty of room in here once the door is shut. Again, a hard door. Plenty of room in here once the door is shut is to do your business. You got a little cute towel rack down here. Not only that, you have a small storage compartment up underneath the sink. You got a toothbrush holder that comes standard with this. I know I like my toothbrushes organized. I don't know about you. And not only that, a little soap dish. I've never seen one of those before. Not in a camper, not standard. Not that comes with it until now. Flagstaff E-Pro. Again, you're gonna have the power vent up top. You're gonna have LED lights streamlined, very linear all the way down here, which is gonna make, A, it's gonna save your battery life, nine tenths more of your battery life it's a study. You can look it up. You can fact check me on that. It's going to make the beautiful cabinetry that in here that is light, as you can tell, light up and it's going to be a very happy, warm feeling camper. I'm going to go ahead and show you the one last thing in this camper and we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Quite frankly, I'm sick of talking and you're probably sick of hearing from me. Giant bed. Giant comfortable bed. You're going to notice back here is you're going to have another queen size bed. You could fit two adults if they like each other or two kids if they don't fight. You're going to have 110 outlets back here to charge cell phones if you do have company or you do have kids. You know how they like them. You know how they like them cell phones now. You're going to have a storage rack which is down because I knocked it down on the way here to store anything from blankets to pillows. When you do have that up and you fold this up, you're going to sit right in this area right here so you can store it on the road and ready to go. Located to my right right here is going to be a small little wardrobe closet again. 
so you can store everything extremely neat and easy going down the road. One more time guys, we're going to go ahead and take a step back outside and go through one little walkthrough and I'm done. You've seen it. 2018 E-Pro from Flagstaff 17PR. And we're on the outside again. Beautiful colors, light cabinetry, light, easy to pull, and you can fit a lot of people in it. You can entertain when you've got a couple people, or live cozy when it is just you. One more time, guys. Corey McCullough down here at Hilltop RV and Ishmael, 4850200. Give us a call. We like talking to people. It's nice. I enjoy it. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to get a hold of us down. One more time, 2018 Flagstaff E-Pro 17PR.